yes, oh, I can see me now. I am the unblemished soul, cast down amongst criminals, having to steal to stay alive, like Oliver Twist. Where is love? Does it come from skies above? I should have been in Oliver, you know. I went to the audition, you know what they said? <coughs> Sod off, ugly. <laughs> That's amazing, were you there? <laughs> anyway, Ollie Twisto didn't do so badly from his life of crime. No, thank you very much. No, sir, E. Bob, he certainly did not. After a brief spell of pickpocketing, a rich, kindly old gentleman discovered that he was the illegitimate child of his dead daughter and really a member of the middle class. So he saved him. Hey, Eddie, maybe the same thing will happen to us. Yeah, maybe. Well, the chances are sort of vaguely against it, really, aren't they? No, 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 it's all in the book. Why, Doctor, Mr. Brownlow will say in his gruff but kindly voice, know ye not these two little urchins, Eddie and Richie? Study on the portrait of my dead daughter. Surely you'll vouchsafe that their faces are just like Fanny's. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Now, Ollie started in the workhouse, so what we must do is throw ourselves on the mercy of the state. But Richie, the state has no mercy. They enjoy watching people starve to death. It's called monetarism. Oh, yes. Let's cut straight to the pickpocketing. Of course, yes. That's it. I've been entirely miscasting myself. The artful dodger. That's the part for me. Wandering around the town, whipping fine silk hankies out the pockets of fops and bows as they parade about the place. All right, let's practice. You try and get my wallet out of my back pocket without me noticing. All right, Skip. Shouldn't be too difficult. You got hit by a bus last week and didn't notice, did you? <laughs> yeah, well, I had a lot on my mind. Well, you would do with a bus on your head, wouldn't you? <laughs> Brilliant joke, Richie. Wasn't the bad one, was it? That was not good. Right, let's go. Are you ready? Yes. Right. In this world, one thing counts in the bank. Larger I At least don't cry one, please. Yeah, I've got the big... got the big pocket. Oh, oh, God, stand still, you wriggly little lizard, while I pick your pocket. Richie, I don't wish to appear picky, but isn't screaming, stand still while I pick your pocket at your prospective victim gonna rather give the game away? Well, I don't believe it. All prospective pickpocket victims pods them down the place, wiggling their bottoms like they've got a whip it down the pants. All right, we'll make it a bit easier for you. <laughs> now, this is a bit more like it. <laughs> right, here goes. <clears throat> Con sit yourselves <laughs> at home. Well, now who's poncing up and down? Shut up, Eddie, you haven't noticed me. Oh, God, I'll start again. I'll start again. Oh, ready. <sighs> Con sit yourselves. <laughs> ah, mate. Ooh, I a bottle. I have noticed you, you know. Shut up, Eddie, I'm being inconspicuous. And it is this very attitude, in my humble opinion, which explains why the colourful figure of the Dickensian pickpocket faded from the London scene. They seem to suffer from the fatal delusion that wearing an outsized top hat, singing consider yourself and bouncing up and down eyeing old gentlemen's bums would lead to a successful career in crime. Eddie, could we please just get on with the play? Who knows who's watching? Mrs. Thatcher's probably watching. <laughs> She's a Wonder Woman workaholic who needs no sleep and does a 36-hour day. Well, she needs 36 hours a day to screw things up the way she does. <laughs> Edward, could we please just get on with the play? Mm. All right, bums out and let's go for it. Right. <laughs> oh, my. What an interesting shoppy window. I think I shall just stare into it motionlessly for a while longer. <laughs> Complete? Yes, we. <laughs> Here goes. After some consideration, we can say, consider yourself. One of us. <laughs> One of us. <laughs> Any of the damn thing won't budge. Well, of course not. There's nails to my bottom. <laughs> Can't be too careful these days. There's a lot of pickpockets about. Oh, this is ridiculous. We'll never get gainful employment this way. And if we don't, the judge will send us back to prison. 